Hey Collective, thank you so much for coming back for another video. And today is a general message and we'll see what we have. I hope everyone is having a good morning so far. It's bright and early. The only thing I'm missing is my coffee. But what y'all got going on? Comment below. Talk to me, y'all. Ain't nobody left me no comments or anything. I know I do have a few subscribers and thank you all so much for liking, subscribing, and also share the videos as well. But yes, please leave me comments. Give me feedback. Let me know what you all think. I mean, whether good or bad, of course, be nice in the comments. Be nice. Tread lightly. But, you know, if you all have any feedback whatsoever, um, you know, I'm willing and open to, you know, listen to it. But anywho, let's get into this message. All right, spirit. What messages do we have today for my collective? And from this deck, you all, I'm just going to pull like the main topic and then we'll work off that with my other cards. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so with this deck, you all, um, I have the Princess of Disc, which is actually the Queen of Pentacles, but each deck is different depending on um, who creates it. And then we have the Ten of Disc, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So here, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. And if you're a male, this could also apply to you as well. So just because it says queen or princess doesn't necessarily mean that's what you are. It's just an energy. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But uh, either you or someone is looked at with um, royalty. Uh, and even if it's not like royalty in the physical uh, form, or let me not say royalty in a physical form. You could be royalty to someone, but not necessarily like rich, I guess is what I should say. So you could be someone looked at as um, someone who's very stable, someone who is very young at heart, someone who's very understanding, and you stand up for what you believe in. I also believe that you are uh, very family oriented and you spread your wings, you're able to like manifest and do whatever possible. You're also looked at as abundant. Someone could possibly look at you as uh, someone who will be good to um, have children with and be fruitful with as far as uh, anything that you aspire building an empire. Um, but yeah, I'm getting all good vibes with that so far. So let's see what else I get with my other deck. But yeah, somebody's really looking at you in a good light. Let's see what we have. Hopefully we get good messages today because the last few readings I've done, I can't control the energy, y'all. I have to read what comes out, okay? So here we have the lover's card in reverse. So with the lover's card in reverse, there could be some type of uh, disconnection or some type of imbalance between you and someone else or someone that you know that could be dealing with this. Um, you all are not in sync or in alignment at this time. I'm not sure if you all are not talking or if you all are dealing with each other and you're just not on the same accord. But I have a feeling that you all are not um uh what's the word I'm looking for? You all are not communicating at this time. So uh, I also feel like somebody could be lacking patience as well um, with the disharmony going on. They could feel like maybe you're avoiding them or maybe you are trying to uh, steer clear of some drama. Give me more spirit. Mm-hmm. So with the Eight of Cups in the upright, somebody is definitely walking away if they haven't already. I'm not sure if this is past energy yet, but if it is, take what resonates. But yeah, someone is definitely wanting to withdraw or cut ties with someone uh, due to a situation. Um, I feel like something was revealed or something came out and someone definitely had to take it upon themselves to walk away. I feel like it was a choice that they... Um, had to go with, even though they didn't want to, but I feel like someone had to go within um, from an emotional standpoint, 
uh, it was very tough from what I'm picking up, but uh, I'm getting that even though it's hard, they feel like if they walk away, it would be much easier than what they've already been dealing with. Let's see what else comes out. So you all could have been dealing with some conflict as well. So there could have been uh, some type of like competition or some petty conflicts going on. I feel like uh, this could have been a third party situation. So um, like I also say in my other videos, third party situations don't necessarily have to be with lovers necessarily it could be friends it could be you know co-workers or anything like that but again we do have the lovers card so we could have had other people interfering in a situation and i'm not sure if uh this is like family members for you all or someone that you all may know mutually but uh let's see what else comes out spirit give me more on the five of wands So here we have the Page of Pentacles and the Upright. Let's see. So there could have been some bickering when it came to some finances. So I'm not sure if you all had a disagreement with um, trying to come together when it comes to stability. Give me one second. Or this could be a work uh, situation. So even if you and this person um, work together or, you know, you all could have been working on something together, even if it wasn't like a physical job where you all work together, you all could have been working towards something. But maybe someone was not willing to put in enough work. So maybe you all had some type of disagreement. Here, give me more on the page of pentacles. I don't know. Let's see. So, yeah. Remember when I said with this eight of cups uh, card that came out in the upright with the eight of wands in reverse, someone is feeling like they have to disconnect. They're being forced to make a move and they didn't want to. That's the first thing that I picked up on. They did not want to make this move, but they felt like they had to. I feel like somebody was overwhelmed emotionally and it was to the point where it's too much conflict. It's too much back and forth, too much bickering. I don't have a choice, but to walk away. I don't have a choice. So even though someone could be looking at you as the uh, princess of discs or you are looking at someone that way, um, it might be something that can't be salvaged. So this could be nostalgia. This could be a memory of someone if you all have already walked away from this person. Uh, maybe they're thinking of you or you're thinking of that person. If you had that person walk away from you, you could be in deep regret at this time wondering, you know, like, what's going on with this withdrawal? Are we going to get back together? If I come back with a small offer, you know, would they be willing to hear me out? Or are they still going to uh, turn me away? Uh, somebody could definitely be frustrated at this time, but I feel like, uh, you know, maybe somebody could be taking a lack. There could be a lack of uh, accountability. Somebody's not taking ownership for where they went wrong. And I think that's where the disconnection is. Somebody's feeling forced to move away. Let's see. So again, like I said, this could be due uh, to some type of talent, some type of work. So one of you all could be very talented. I'm not sure if you're an entrepreneur or if you have like your uh, own success and maybe this person wants to work with you. Give me more on the Eight of Pentacles spirit. We have the Six of Cups 
in reverse. And we also have the Six of Swords in reverse. So with these two cards here, this already shows me now. This is so crazy because I called this card out before I even said it. The Six of Cups card uh, usually represents nostalgia. So this is definitely someone from your past. Um, and with the uh, Six of Swords here, someone is definitely walking away uh, to calmer waters. Uh, I also feel like somebody... Um, was probably deep in their shadow side and now they're reflecting on some things that they may have done. And here with the nostalgia, they may be reflecting on some things that uh, you all had together. Um, you all could have worked on some things together, like I said, and it could be a relationship, but that's what I'm picking up on anyway. But I feel like somebody was not holding up their end of the bargain. So somebody felt like, okay, I have to walk away. Whether you look at me like a queen or not, you're not showing it with your actions. You say it with your, you know, your mouth and your words, but with your actions, you don't show that. You're not putting in the work that I'm putting in. I feel like whoever was putting in the work, whether it was you or the other person, it was very hard work. And whatever the other person wasn't doing, it was basically Page of Pentacles energy. And with the Page of Pentacles compared to the Eight of Pentacles, this person, whatever they put in, it was very little. It was small. It, it wasn't uh, reciprocated. It wasn't equal. So somebody was putting in more than the other person. And this person... Um, I keep saying this person, I'm sorry. Um, the person I'm picking up on, like I said, whether it's you or them, uh, someone is feeling like they have to move to calmer waters because this is a force. It's too much conflict. I'm in my emotions. It's not serving me. I have to walk away. I have to disconnect. My work here is done. So when I walk away, I will be just a memory. I will. That's all I'll be. So... All right, y'all, let's see. Spirit, give me more on the Six of uh, Swords, please. And actually, I... Never mind. Because I might be wrong if I say that. Because I was going to say, I thought it came in the uh, reverse. But uh, here we have the Emperor in the upright. So... The person that uh, you may have walked away from could be looking at you as a leader, someone who has self-control, someone who stands on their word, someone who's dependable, and someone who is um, very strong foundational-wise. Foundation-wise, sorry. Y'all know I can't talk sometimes. But foundation-wise. And you could also be looked at as very traditional, so uh, you may not be into things that are... I guess, consider non-traditional or different. Um, or, I'm getting another storyline. Maybe you could be the different one. You could probably be more on the spiritual side. This person was possibly more traditional where they may be, uh, they may lean more toward religion. They may go to church and, you know, believe in certain things that uh, you don't and vice versa. So maybe uh, you all could have had conflicts or you all could have even collided when it came to that as well. So let's see what else we get with the emperor. So like I said, they could either be you or your person. But yeah, somebody's definitely uh, looked at as being in their emperor energy. A leader, very stable. And then we have the eight of swords here in reverse. So somebody is uh, finally waking up <laughs> and looking at a new uh, perspective and wanting to move uh, toward you. So again, this is a past person that I'm picking up on. This person may want to come toward you and let you know that maybe they, you know, did some thinking. Uh, maybe they could have been holding themselves back. I feel like somebody could have been stuck in their head a lot. And they could be wanting to communicate with you to let you know that, you know, hey, I have a different perspective on, you know, what we went through. What can we talk about to work this out? You know, like I said, um, you all may have had some uh, differences in your beliefs, but I'm really feeling like 
it was two people together and somebody wasn't holding up their end of the bargain. And all of the stress could have been on you. But now that this person has been separated from you, you know, they could finally be realizing that, man, I, I didn't do my part. I see why he or she left me or I see why they turned their back on me or I see why they're... Um, you know, in their emperor energy, because with this uh, eight of cups energy, even though you are withdrawn and you had to walk away, I feel like there was a lot of emotion in this situation. There was some love there, but, you know, you had to do what was best for you. Sometimes loving someone is just not good enough. You can love somebody all day long, but if the respect isn't there, if the loyalty is not there, if the reciprocation is not there, then what are, what are we doing? What am I here for? There's no point. I might as well just walk away. Save myself some time. Heartache, energy, all of that. Who this card know it be coming out. Okay, so... We have, uh, sorry, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I've been picking up on that as well as far as decreased income. That's been coming out a lot in my readings with me uh, picking up on someone that could be uh, financially uh, unstable. Somebody could be wanting to come back because they may need some help. This person sees that you're thriving and you're moving forward. Even if it's hard, you're still doing what you have to do to heal, get through this situation, and maintain your finances. And I know for some people that can be hard when your mind is uh, all over the place and you can't focus. And then when you are emotionally and mentally and spiritually drained, that trickles down to your physical. And when your physical body is... um at war or whatever or you know if somebody you know is affecting that in any kind of way that also affects your finances because if it's hard for you to think straight if you're depressed you have anxiety and you can't you know get your thoughts right and then spiritually you feel broken then physically it can make you sick high blood pressure some people get strokes heart attacks and then how will you be able to work you can't perform well. And then if you don't go to work, you're missing work. So you're either using vacation time or you, you know, got to pull from your savings or whatever the case is. Um, but somebody is um, lacking financially. So hopefully this person is not coming back for that. But like I said, I've been picking up on that in my readings, but we're going to see what comes out. Okay. So here we have the death in the upright. Now. Again, for those who may be new to tarot or for those who are not familiar with this card, death does not necessarily mean death in the physical with someone being unalived. Death can uh, mean like an ending to something. So, um, somebody could be having an ending with their finances. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, that is the case for everybody, but I am picking up on that some people uh, may be lacking financially. Someone could have lost a job um, and uh, somebody could also uh, just be going through a rebirth as well. So even if it doesn't have, sorry, even if it doesn't have anything to do with the job per se, uh, this could be, you know, the death of someone's ego. Like I said, someone finally realizes that, you know, man, I didn't do my part. I didn't handle my end of the bargain like I should have. So, um, you know, this transition could be bringing them back around due to them having the death of the ego, or this person could also be, uh, going through like a, um, a spiritual awakening. And it probably took for you to walk away for that to happen for this person. Sometimes people don't, um, realize what you mean to them until you walk away uh sometimes those triggers do not occur until you walk away sometimes that happens it has to happen that way because when you're too available when you're too close when you're in reach every time you know they're looking for you calling whatever and you here i come here i am i'm right here you know they take advantage of that 
and they feel like you're always going to be there. You're never going to go anywhere. And then when you finally do, it's like, oh my gosh, I never knew that life would be like this without my sweetheart or whoever the, you know, the person is. Or um, however they refer to that person. But yeah. So this, um, this change is probably something that is awakening this person and getting them to, uh, you know, get on the right path and make some changes. Even if you don't take them back, hopefully they'll do good the next time around and they won't, you know, allow the next person to eat a cups they ass. I don't know. I don't know. But let's see. And for those who don't know what eight of cups is, again, eight of cups is basically walking away, turning your back, saying, I'm done. I got to go. It's been good. It's been real. But, you know, I got I got to do what's best for me. Like I said, love is just not enough. And here we have the uh, five of pentacles in the reverse. So this also, again, goes with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this person could uh, be lacking financial stability. They could be going through a rough time where they're not able to get as much help from family members. Or this person um, could have had like maybe some type of loss in their income. And uh, also, if it's not necessarily... Um, Income for some of you all, this could even just be a spiritual situation where this person feels like spiritually they could be lacking. And um, you can definitely feel like you're lacking spiritually. You can feel like you're disconnected from a spirit or the divine or God, whichever uh, name that you refer to him as or whoever you all deem as your um, your um, savior. But... This could be spiritual poverty as well, where someone is feeling like they're being left out in the cold. Like, God, I really want to come back. I really want to have another chance with my person. But I just feel like you're not hearing me. Like, I'm reaching out. I'm asking for help. But I'm being left out in the cold. This person feels like God possibly turned their back on them. But, you know, God probably... One second. God is probably looking at them like... I gave you a gift. I gave you somebody special. I gave you something special and you ruined it. You didn't put the work in. That's just like, you know, if you work a job, if you go to work every day and you do a half-ass job, you won't be keeping that job long. If you're with somebody that has good sense, and if you're not putting in your half with the relationship or the friendship or and you're not meeting that person halfway, then you're going to lose that. So anything that you don't work for or anything that you don't put effort into or time into, it can be easily snatched away. And we, we tend to take things like that for granted. So, yes, this person could definitely uh, be coming back to you for some help financially or this person could be coming uh, to you for assistance with uh, whatever they're going through um, spiritually. So I don't know if, you know, this person wants to come to you to be a listening ear or if, um, you know, they need some type of advice. Like I said, you all could be spiritual. They could be religious. But, you know, maybe they have some questions for you on your perspective to see, um, you know, a different way that they can go about this situation. Spirit, give me more on the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this is you all right here with this Five of Cups in reverse. Mm hmm. Yeah. So the grief that you all experienced, I feel like it was very dark. It was very heavy. I feel like uh, you did put a lot of emotions into this and. You weren't appreciated and, you know, basically you flipped the cups over. Cups represent emotions. Um, I can't think of any other words right now, but basically it's in touch with your emotions right now. And um, I feel like, you know, you do forgive this person. I also believe that you're not holding a grudge. 
you really wanted this to work out, but you had no choice. It's, it's either you or me. I got to pick a side. And my side is the best side. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, this could be very dark uh, that you went through. But I feel like you finally accepted it and you're moving on, even though it may be hard. But um, I feel like even if this isn't this person as well, this could even be you. Where, you know, you're releasing yourself from this situation. You want to be free. You could have been trapped, even though you knew you weren't trapped. But emotionally, you probably felt stuck. You probably felt trapped. And you probably didn't want to give up on this person or this situation. But it was something that you had to walk away from. And I felt like, you know, you could have been holding yourself hostage or emotionally this person i'm getting this storyline as well this person could have been man emotionally manipulative and they could have made you feel hostages if you couldn't leave or you couldn't move forward and i'm also getting that if some of you all depended on this person for uh income that it could have been hard for you to walk away because you could have been codependent on this person for uh financial reasons that's another uh possibility as well Spirit, give me more on the Five of Cups in reverse. And we'll see what else comes out. But yeah, I'm uh, definitely getting that this is a, a past person. Most definitely. I don't know. I, I just, all I got to say is you don't miss the... The... Uh, what is it? The water to the well runs dry? Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Now somebody going through it, child. They going through it. Losing sleep. Anxiety all in their head. Yeah, this, this is the same uh, similar storyline I've been picking up on. So just to let you all know again, if you haven't uh, watched my previous readings, um... These messages are repetitive because this is like the common energy of the collective that I'm picking up on, okay? So, yeah, somebody's dealing with some anxiety and, oh, all I'm going to say is if they gave it to you, if they had you in your head, if they gave you anxiety, if this person made you feel as if you were suffering or if you were in a bondage or whatever the case is, this person is overwhelmed with guilt. They are overwhelmed with guilt. This person knows that you're hurt. And I need to figure out what else is going on too in a second. But this person feels like they've done quite a bit of damage. This person is, uh, like I said, possibly depressed, having sleepless nights and... Um, I'm, I'm also getting that this person could just be weighed down. Like this person has a heavy heart. I can feel it. Like literally, that's the energy I'm picking up on. This person has a very heavy heart. A heavy heart. I feel like this person is filled with guilt. And I also feel like this person could be very, uh, like, short-tempered or, you know, reacting like, um, like real snappy. Just not in a good mood. Just not in a good mood. Oh. And if y'all don't know how it, uh, it feels like picking up on other people's energies, you won't understand. But if you are, like, um... Uh, if you're an, uh, an empath, because I know I'm an empath, always have been, and it's, it's something else. <laughs> it's a gift, but um, yeah, this person has a very heavy heart, and I feel like this person could be in their head a whole lot. Mm, mm, mm. And like I said, if you all were in this energy while you were dealing with them, just know it's it's. It's hitting them harder. It's hitting them harder. That's crazy. Like, I can literally feel the heaviness in my chest while I'm doing this reading. Like, right now. 
I've been fine up until like when I got to that card. Like I can really, I can feel it. Mm -mm. But yeah, this person, uh, they feel guilty. Spirit, give me more on the Nine of Swords. Why is this person uh, feeling guilty or why is this person in their head? Can you give me more on the Nine of Swords, please, Spirit? Okay, so we have the uh, Hermit card here in the upright. So this person could be in a uh, hermit right now, self-reflecting on some things that they may have done uh, to you. I feel like this person is uh, definitely trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel. They're trying to find their way uh, back to you. Right now, this person could be in solitude because, like I said, they're already uh, in their head and overthinking. But they're trying to, you know, find themselves and figure out what went wrong in this situation. But I also feel like this person is uh, lacking finding their way. That's why I think this person is trying to come back to you because they may need some type of advice or um, some type of um, guidance. Like I said, I also feel like you all could have been a light to this person, especially since uh, I feel like you all are in your emperor energy. This is how this person is looking at you. But... Yeah, I feel like uh, this person could be overwhelmed by, um, on this card it says overwhelmed by demands, but what I'm picking up on is demands uh, with like finances. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting uh, demands with finances or demands with um, maybe answers from people. I feel like it could have been some other people that be, uh, that be, I'm sorry, that uh, are aware of this situation. And maybe that's part of the reason why there could have been some bickering and conflict. So this person could be overwhelmed by their thoughts. But not only that, I'm getting that people could be demanding answers from this person on what's going on with them. Or, you know, maybe they... Uh, they're asking, like, why did this person walk away? What did you do to this person? What happened? Why didn't it work out? Like, it seemed like everything was all good. But, you know, what's what's going on? So, that's another reason why I feel like this person could be in hermit mode. Because they may be ashamed to say what took place, what happened um, with the situation, or why there was bickering and conflict. Ooh. And here we have the Ace of Swords and the Upright. So somebody uh, is finally gaining mental clarity and is determined for a new breakthrough. And I believe that is you. I believe that is you. You are determined to clear the path, to go forward, not look back, not focus on the past. I also feel like uh, at this time you will be tested more than likely. But I feel like as long as you um, keep your sword up by protecting yourself, that you will be fine. But I feel like you are definitely leaning toward the most high on new ideas, on trying to heal and move forward. I feel like you're trying to master on how to not go back. Not go back. And I also feel like you have clarity now. Now that you've walked away, you can see clearly now. Even if I, when I look at this picture, it's so much brighter. So much brighter. But yeah, I feel like um, you all are getting mental clarity. So I'm not sure if uh, some of you all are gifted or not. But you could definitely be getting downloads, visions or dreams or, uh, you know, just messages from God on what you can do to uh, heal yourself and have a final breakthrough. I feel like you went within and, you know, the truth is finally coming out or coming to. I feel like it could have been something that was hard for you to accept. But now you have no choice because your back could have been up against the wall. You have no choice but to accept what you had to walk away from. Because I feel like if you uh, would have stayed, it wouldn't have been easy 
to walk away from. It would have been 10 times harder. It's already hard already uh, as it is, but it would have been much, much worse. But I feel like with a uh, guy behind you, he's definitely giving you some force. And the force may not be fun, okay? I will admit that spiritual awakenings, healing is not fun, but it has to be done. It has to be done if you want to heal and grow. If you want to heal and be better, you have to you have to change. You have to change. That's the only way. You cannot keep doing the same thing and respecting different expecting sorry uh different results it just it doesn't happen that way and yep with the ten of cups here we definitely have that the relationship did not um you know uh work out so apparently somebody could have had like a hidden agenda someone could have been uh taking advantage of you that could have been part of the reason why they were there uh somebody probably was not loyal like i stated earlier you could have been loyal to this person but they weren't uh reciprocating that uh so you had no choice but to say hey i gotta throw the towel in uh somebody could have had <clears throat> i think i already said uh hidden agenda or some of you all could have separated as uh, well from misaligned uh values so some of you all could have parted ways because uh your values or your beliefs do not coincide or they don't align so you felt like okay this might be too much of a sacrifice or that person may have thought that you know it was too much of a sacrifice and they possibly were not, uh, whether it's you or the other person, somebody was not mature enough to state their lack or, you know, where they were messing up at. You know, I just feel like somebody continued to um, add hurt and harm to the situation instead of being a stand-up woman or a stand-up guy and try to work through it. So this harmony came in and, and separated you all. So now I feel like whatever uh, happiness you had with them is just a memory. And that's why that six of, uh, six of Cups card came out earlier, the nostalgia card. It's just a memory. I feel like, you know, you all could have been very happy together, but I just feel like some it was one-sided. Somebody was not picking up their end of the uh, bargain at all. Give me more for the Ten of Cups in Reverse Spirit. And I do have a few more decks to go through. I'm not going to hold you all too much longer. And I'll uh, be out of your hair. Give me more spirit on the Ten of Cups. If no more comes out, I don't force messages. So if I don't get any more, then I'll move on. Uh -oh. Spirit, any more on the Ten of Cups? Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. King of Pentacles in, uh, in reverse. So somebody here definitely was all about uh status. So yeah, I'm getting that somebody was like real or not was, sorry, a uh, real 3D. And when I say 3D, I mean like materialistic. Somebody was only worried about status. Somebody was only worried about money. So apparently somebody was not here for the correct reasons and they took full advantage. But, um, yeah, they were only, they were obsessed with you. I am definitely picking that up. But this person's uh, status or how they appear to others um, mean, meant everything to them. So, I'm telling you, that's why I'm picking up on this five of wands. I really feel like people are demanding answers from this person. I don't know exactly who these people are. It could be mutual people that know you all. I'm not sure, but take what resonates. But I feel like they're being questioned over and over. Like, what's going on? Like, please tell us, like, what's going on? Like, what happened to so-and-so? Or, you know, why did you walk away? Or why did they walk away? Because I feel like it could have been a, a nice connection once upon a time. But 
you know, some things came out. And I feel like uh, you may have even tried to talk to this person, but they were never really willing to listen. Um, I feel like you may have always listened, but they, uh, they didn't take your advice to heart at all. I'm getting one ear and out the other. Any more with the King of Pentacles in the reverse spirit? So here we have the Nine of Cups and um, the Upright. So again, uh, most of you all could already be established. You all could already have jobs, your own home. Not sure if you all are parents, but you could be parents. But um, you're a very happy person. Naturally, I feel like people love to be around you. You brighten up other people's uh, day. People love talking to you. They enjoy your company, whether they tell you or not. But uh, I feel like they enjoy your company. I feel like they look at you as abundant and you can hold down your own. The only thing that you would be missing is your one last cup um, or your one last pinnacle. And that uh, is basically a partner. But without that person you are still okay. You're stable. You don't want or need for anything. So the only thing you could be lacking in in your life is uh, in a relationship or whomever you were dealing with. But I'm getting that stay focused. Spirit has you. Don't worry. You're good. Okay? Stay focused. But yeah, I feel like uh, even other people look at you as wish fulfillment. But yeah, I, have, I feel like you have a very warming spirit. And also, I'm getting this. I don't know why, but some of you all may be Buddhist. Some of you all may uh, practice Buddhism. I think I'm saying that right. So here with this tower in reverse, this person wants to avoid this tower. They are wanting to avoid this uh tower because they're they're afraid of change and remember i just said not too long ago if you do the same thing you're not going to get different results it doesn't make sense to do that so this person is uh basically trapped now i know this came in the reverse okay and the upright, typically, that means that they're, you know, trapped or in bondage or whatever the case is. But I'm getting that this person um, could be keeping themselves uh, trapped, you know, due to being in a hermit energy. But, yeah, they're keeping themselves in imprisonment by fearing this change, not wanting to change. I feel like they want to, but I almost feel like they don't know how. They don't know how. This person is too much in their ego. This person is too much in their ego. And I feel like they could be trying to avoid this tower because they know that they're going to have to change. Somebody's not ready to change their ways. Somebody could be very toxic and they're not wanting to face reality. They feel like if I can just stay the way that I am, you know, it, it's okay. You, you can handle it. You've been handling it. Oh, now you want to walk away. <laughs> that's what I'm getting now you want to walk away you've been handling it when I was in my ego when I was stubborn when I didn't listen when I didn't want to change but now that you've walked away it's almost like they feel disrespected or something or like you know like why why would you do me like that like I thought you loved me yeah they, they may love you but like I said love is not enough it's just not enough Okay, tell me how y'all really feel. Oh, so the five of swords and the upright. So yeah, it is some arguments, some tension, betrayal with this with this situation. And like I said, I'm not sure if this these are people that you all know mutually, but on someone's side, there is definitely. 
uh, some type of conflict going on or some type of, um, yeah, attention. And remember, I did say that this person is coming off snappy. I don't have the three of swords here necessarily, so I don't know if uh, this person is dealing with somebody else on a romantic uh, level, but um, yeah, I feel like people could be turning their back on them at this time. Hmm. Then we have the Knight of uh, Swords here in the upright. So I feel like this person is very competitive. And I also feel like this person comes off very brave in front of these people. I feel like he puts on his brave face in front of these people. But... They are, uh, you know, lacking the courage, even though this came in the upright, but I'm, I'm reading what I'm feeling. Uh, I feel like this person is trying to find the courage to come towards you quickly, but they could be competing. And I also feel like they could be coming towards you quickly to either, to, I'm getting two things right now. Either this person is coming towards you quickly before somebody else comes towards you, or this person is coming towards you quickly before uh, some type of information or outcome gets to you. Whatever that may be. So I don't know if that's text messages, phone calls, uh, group chats, whatever the case is. This person could be coming back to try to hurry up and stop that from getting to you. Because even though you all may have had some time apart, they're hoping that they can come back and change your mind. And then here, um, with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, again, this person is overwhelmed right now uh, financially. Or, like I said, too, um, if this is a work situation, you know, this person could be um, overwhelmed at work as well. And with their financial setbacks, I, like I said, I don't know if a person lost a job. I don't know if a person is going to lose their job. Like if they're on their last leg at their job or uh, if somebody has more than one job and they lost one and they lost some type of income. But either way, this person is overwhelmed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. But yeah, I just hope uh, whatever decision you all make, you do it for yourself to the best of your ability, but I just hope you go within, you know, don't do anything rationally, just, uh, or sorry, irrationally, impulsively, Jesus. Anyway, don't do anything impulsively. Go, you know, go within. Like I said, God will give you strength. He will give you new ideas to overcome this. I feel like this could have been something hard for you to walk away from. And, you know, you don't want to go back, but it can be hard because, you know, emotionally, you may still care about this person. But I feel like, you know, as long as you keep your sword up and you protect yourself, you won't have any worries. Let God lead the way. You will be great. One second, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Oracle decks and then I'll let you all go. I always say I'm not going to take up too much of you all's time, but I also have to, you know, channel what comes out. So I'm not going to force the messages. Spirit, please give me messages from my collective. I hope you all enjoy so far. Thank you so much for watching. And one more spirit. Ooh. One second. I hate dropping my cord. I am starving. What y'all eating today? Give me some ideas. I had some spring rolls yesterday. Oh, they were so bomb. Shrimp spring rolls, the fresh ones. So good. 
Okay. So here, ooh, see? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all can't tell me these messages not real. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Look at this. Before I even read it, what does it say? What does it say, collective? Y'all see them three words at the bottom? Cut your losses. Please cut your losses. This right here is a ram, okay? Stay in that ram energy. I said keep your sword up, but hey, if you got to use your horns, <laughs> keep them up. Stay aware. Please stay aware. But yes, cut your losses. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. Please. I understand that the past brings you a lot of nostalgia. Once upon a time, you were very happy. This person brightened your day. You all may have taken trips together. You all have, um, you know, may have talked about taking trips together. But either way, um, and even I'm getting that somebody could be from the islands. But, and I'm getting Florida. But, um, yeah, this person... You may have to leave them a part of your past, okay? It's probably best to do that. But all I will say is, I'm, I won't judge whatsoever. But what I will say is, if you go back, just be prepared, okay? Just be prepared. Stay in integrity. So, even when no one is looking, okay? Make sure you all do what's uh do the right thing okay even if nobody is watching even if nobody is looking go within keep your integrity high but just know even if nobody else is watching physically god is always watching so please make sure that you're being honest with yourself okay and uh you know you if uh you all have not separated from this person only you know when the best time is okay only you can answer that. But uh, like I said, I'm getting that this is a past person that needs to stay in the past. Because I cannot stress this enough. This is the first card that I pulled. Cut your losses. I can't say it no more clear than that. And look. Remember y'all with the Ace of Swords when I said new ideas for healing? Some of you all may have had a hard time doing that. Seek healing. So whether healing is um, part of like meditating, doing yoga, uh, spa days, all of that is a part of healing. But I'm feeling like you need to go within. So some of you all, you know, don't just pray. But um, if you have someone who you can confide in, that's very trustworthy. Somebody who you know you can trust. Like, um, you know, like a a spiritual aunt or like your mother somebody very trustworthy with lots of wisdom that you know you can confide in and they won't lead you in the uh, wrong direction but i'm getting go with them pray some of you all may even need to actually seek therapy and have a counselor and that's fine too don't let anybody judge you there's nothing wrong with therapy whatsoever a lot of people that need therapy don't even admit it but it's okay seek healing Okay, now, this Oracle deck, real quick, y'all. Ooh, that was not a shuffle. <laughs> All right, Spirit, give me a message just for my collective. Oh, I hope y'all didn't hear my stomach, because she, she's not growling anymore. She's talking at this point. We are talking over here. I'm starving. Nope. Can't take them. Oh, I can't wait to see what come out with these. These cards are so dope, y'all. And I keep forgetting to give y'all the names of them. These are my uh, new ones that I got. Any more messages, Spirit? I'm not going to force it. And don't judge me, y'all. I am not the best shuffler. I be trying, though. I be trying. Some decks I can shuffle easier than others. Any more messages, spirit? Woo! Don't hit the floor, baby. 
Wow. <laughs> Ooh, these cards not playing today. All I know is these messages are like all coinciding. This is bananas. In a good way, though. Because spirit gonna come through, honey. If don't nobody else come through, spirit gonna come through. And let us uh, know what we need to know. And with God, God ain't gonna hold back. Other people might hold back. But God, God gonna give it to you straightforward. And before I uh record it, before I, you know, meditate it over the cards and cleanse and everything, I always ask God to give me the messages that the collective needs and not the ones that they want. And please make them clear for my understanding as well as theirs. And, um... Oh, yeah, these cards speaking, per usual. I don't want to take you. Ah! Okay. All right, so the first card out, manifest your true intentions, okay? Manifest your true intentions. Now, what I'm getting from this is, the only way you're going to be able to succeed with healing, you have to love, okay? Now, when I say love, I mean love on yourself. And don't beat yourself up for the things that you may have went through with this person or the things that you may have endured. And I'm also getting that in order to heal, there are no shortcuts. There is no taking the elevator. There is no taking trains, buses, cabs, vans, subways, whatever you want to say, Uber, Lyft. No, you have to take the stairs to heal because I'm telling you right now from personal experience, if you ever think, and when I say personal experience, I mean that, and not only that, other people as well, but in general, What was I going to say? There are no shortcuts to healing. So anytime you may think that you're healed from something, I don't care if it's a year or two later, you might say, oh, yeah, I'm healed. I'm past that. You will be tested. Even if it's not specifically with that person, you can be tested in a situation where God will see how healed you are. And I'm telling you, there are times where we think we're healed and we'll be knocked back to square one. Why? Because some people, they may rush healing, even if it's not intentionally where they're saying, oh, I'm going to rush this. I'm going to rush this. No, but literally not taking the time out to get to know yourself, connect with God. And um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the uh purge if you don't purge the old to bring in the new i'm telling you you will be kicked all the way back to level one you might think you on level 25 you're gonna go back to one real quick and god gonna be like uh -uh. we don't do shortcuts over here and the reason why i'm saying that too because i just got a channel message god does not do shortcuts when it comes to blessings so when it comes to blessings whether it's 5D or 3D, whether it's material or like a spiritual gift, whatever it is, I don't care what you're asking for, there is no shortcut. God is not going to shortchange you on your blessings, so you cannot shortchange when it comes to healing. There's no way you can conquer something or be prosperous when you do a shortcut. I'm telling you, you will regret it, okay? <laughs> so take your time. Do not rush. For example, if you did date this person, you were married or whatever, take time out for yourself. Don't be so quick to just move forward to the next person. Dive in, dive deep. And I'm talking about dive deep in the roots. This is me speaking now. Dive deep in the roots to figure out what you can change so you can heal, so you can be better, okay? Dig deep, and I mean deep. I'm talking about deep, all the way down to the root. Not just the stem of the tree, not just the leaf, not just the trunk of the tree. I'm getting emotional, I'm sorry, but get down to the root. That's the only way you can heal, and I mean, it can get ugly, because you may have to face some things in yourself that you don't even want to admit to other people. And that's okay because it's not their business. But 
write it in a journal, do whatever you have to do, but get down to the root. Please, I'm telling y'all, healing is like so good, but it's hard. And that's why a lot of people don't do it. It's so hard because you have to give up people, places, things, habits, thoughts, mindsets, whatever it is. You have to give it up. You have to. That's the only way. Otherwise, you're going to stay stuck at level one, I'm telling you. So if you think you on level 50 or you turn that speed up on that treadmill and you going, 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 God going to be like, choo, 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 choo. and then you're going to be right back like this, <laughs> looking like a mannequin. I'm telling you, take your time. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but uh, here it says, now this is the card that really got me, okay? See other people as they are. Take off the rose-colored glasses. Do not paint a picture. Whatever picture that somebody is giving you, accept that picture. Accept it. Don't paint over it. Don't even erase. I'm sorry. Don't even erase what they have uh, shown to you, okay? Keep that picture in your mind because that's who they are, especially if you've seen that same picture time and time and time and time again. And that picture is not changing. It's time to take the shades off. It's time to be honest. It's time to sit in it. It's time to open up. It's time to get to the root, especially when you're ready for a change. You got to get to the bottom of it. Otherwise, you'll stay stuck. You will. And um, I feel the need to read the back of this card. When you see other people as they are without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they do or say. Even if others lie to you, it is okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. Remember, I said earlier, this person is in their ego. They, uh you know, may come off as more than what they are. But it's okay. It's okay. Let them live in that. If that's their truth, let them live in that. They have their right. Just like you have the right to walk away and change, they have their right to sit in that until they're ready to change. If they want God to keep tapping them, hey, so be it. And I'm speaking from personal experience too. I've been tapped from God <laughs> More than once, more than twice, more than three, more than four, more than five for some of my lessons, more than 10 for some of my lessons. I have to be honest. I have been tapped <laughs> more than enough times. And I'm looking back now like, dang, it shouldn't have took all of that. But in order for you to learn, you're going to keep repeating them cycles. And some of us think we can... Um, Get out of a cycle just by changing a job or changing a person or changing where we live or changing um, the, the house we live in or whatever the case is. Or, you know, where we live is in location. It does not matter. You are still carrying you around. You need to change. It's not you trying to change the environment. It's you that needs to change. You only have control over you anyway first. And when you change, everything else falls in line and it benefits. Until you change, it's not going to work. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. You're going to keep bumping your head. You're going to keep running into the wall. You're going to keep getting knocked at level one. If you try to uh, go up the elevator to the 40th floor, our baby, <laughs> You ain't even going to get uh, knocked down to lobby level. You're going to be knocked down to ground level. <laughs> Forget lobby level and main floor. You're going to be knocked down to the ground level. And you're going to have to work your way up brick by brick. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. I'm not fully healed in where I want to be. But I can definitely tell the difference by putting in effort. So I'm just trying to encourage you. I'm not trying to tell you all what to do, but I really am encouraging you all that if you want to change, you can do it. Don't let your circumstances make you feel like you can't change. Don't make your childhood trauma make you feel like you can't change. Don't make that ex, your mother, father, brother, sister, kids. I don't care who it is. Do not let people make you feel like you cannot change. You can change today if you want. Right this second, you can change. 
You can change. Don't let anybody tell you that. You can change. Anybody can change, but you have to want to change. That's one thing about God. God does not force himself on us. We all have free will. So if you choose to change, you can do it. If you choose God, you can have God. If you don't choose God, you don't have to take it. If you don't want to change, you don't have to change either. It's all in your hands. It's all in your hands. And this here says, um, be yourself around others. So I'm getting that some of you all could have possibly like hid yourselves. Um, and you all could have also been broken by certain situations, but I feel like it's okay to be yourself. We are all flawed. Don't let anybody make you feel less than because of past experiences. When you start to change, you are renewed. You're not who you used to be. So, so what if somebody said, oh, well, six months ago, she was doing X, Y, Z, or he was saying X, Y, Z. Okay, that was six months ago. This is new news, okay? Leave that six-month stuff in the past. You back there huh, on level one. Baby, we on five. You need to catch up. And by the time you catch up and we, we take it one step at a time, we going to be on 10. And guess what? You still going to be behind because you still going to be talking about six months, one year ago, five years ago. And you still going to be on ground level, level one, while everybody else going up to the 40th floor and everybody else going higher. So don't let nobody make you feel like you cannot change. Okay? I'm here to tell you. And I know y'all came for a reading, but I like to preach too. That's part of my gift too. I love speaking. And um, I just, you know, want to encourage you all to be the best that you can be. I'm telling you, it can happen for anybody. God can use anybody. Anybody. When I say anybody, it can be a homeless person. It can be a poor person. It could be a drug addict. I don't care who it is. They can change if they want. It is possible, especially with God. Because, honey, I'm not who I used to be. And I'm sure some of you all are who you used to be. If you look back a year ago on what you used to do or what you used to say or how you used to move, if you've changed, I'm sure you'll be proud of yourself. You'll pat yourself on the back. You'll clap for yourself because you can say, I have done the work. I have changed. It's possible. So even though people can change, this person is going to have to change in their own time. That's not something that can be rushed, and it is their choice. They have free will. So even if they come to you for a listening ear, don't, don't force it. Don't force it. You know, don't come from a place of uh, like you are, uh, yeah, I guess forced. Like you're forcing it on them. You know, just kind of speak from a place of, you know, hey. This worked for me, that worked for me, blah, blah, blah. It may not work for you, but just letting you know, you can change if you really want it. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, And our crystal card that came out is the pink granite. This card is so beautiful. Looks like pink with specks of black, white, and gray. That's pretty. All right. And this is going to be the last message, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They probably like, girl, you talk too much. But that's my gift. I've always been a talker. Ask my parents, ask my family, anybody that know me. One thing they gonna say is Chanel can talk since birth. <laughs> but as early as I could talk, I've always been a talker. But uh, okay, so with the pink granite, this is also referred to as the lightning bolt. Ooh, so this must be some powerful energy in this crystal. And for those who uh, do use crystals, Y'all know how powerful they can be. Before I got into crystals, I wasn't aware. I thought they were just cute. But um, when I actually started kind of learning about some of them and actually experimenting with some of them, whoo, them jokers, they powerful. And it don't matter the size either. I have crystals like this small. And baby, energetically, they're strong. Oh, yeah. So let's see what come out, y'all, because it might even uh, coincide with the message. Pink granite has the highest paramagnetic ren uh sorry re uh, res resonant oh I cannot say this word resonance I think I'm saying that right 
basically resonate uh, of all stones and creates immense energy. So this stone uh, also goes along with self-understanding. You are an ancient Egyptian with the arcane knowledge that rolls their role entails, but you originated in the stars. You understand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, and immortality. You have been involved in ancient power struggles. Cut yourself loose. Mm -hmm. From bondage, all of that. What did I say? Old beliefs, all of that. Mindsets, cut it. Old people that don't serve you, cut it. Jobs that don't serve you, cut it. I don't care what it is, cut it. Uh, become more grounded. Remember, I was saying go to the root or, you know, dig to the root. Go within. Learning experiences occur regularly and serendipitous. Oh, gosh. I cannot talk, y'all. Uh, synchronicities put you in exactly the right place at the right time. Be assertive and make things happen. Events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention. See the whole picture before deciding. Be pragmatic, but don't give power away. Maintain balance in a relationship. You need diplomacy and tact. Lightning can strike twice. If dealing with ancient strife, Look at the bigger picture. Healing sight. Everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. So again, if you're walking away from a situation or if you've already walked away, new ideas, new beginnings, ace of swords. Okay? New rebirth. Uh, let's see. So... Here we have for the frequency, earthy and high. For the chakra, it helps. Uh, this stone helps align all of them for those who are uh, interested in the pink granite crystal. Um, it aligns all of your chakras, timing out of the blue, and soul path, a lightning conductor for positive change. So, I, like I said, you guys. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And other than that, I thank you all so much for tuning in to my reading. I love you all so much. Thank you for the support. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And again, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it on my other videos, but on TikTok, I am under um, Empress Coco One, and that's C-O-C-O. -C -O. And that's all together. And then on Instagram, it's Empress underscore Coco, C-O-C-O-1. -O -O I love you all so much. I hope you all have a great day. It's time for me to eat and snooze. I love you guys. Bye.